What's going on guys? Finally today I get to see a Senna. That's right, I couldn't even make up any bullshit in between because I'm so excited. It's a customer's car. I just want to see it in real life. I want to see it in person, get a good feel of it. Oh, I feel I have pretty good understanding on it. So we came all the way here to basically Lamborghini of Newport Beach, which is same ownership as McLaren in Newport Beach. They have the car here, they're servicing it. Nick and Pietro are being awesome and showing us the car and also letting us see other toys. So I'll bring you guys inside with me right now where Buddy and Farshad are, I have no idea. having a party here so there's nothing and somehow Pargini is there 720s baby by the way 720s's are still selling really really well there's no sign of depreciation like in the other McLarens which is fucking amazing who are you Kuka we're doing a collabo right now we're doing a collabo right now hey. how are you technology <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Huka. This is this fucking insane. I mean, we're in the same place, but quite far away. And I'm not high, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> We were just talking about this. Aren't chrome cars kind of like gone? You don't see chrome cars anymore. That's a chrome fucking car right there. <gasps> they have an LT with a roof scoop that looks like this. So this is a 650S with a $40,000 roof scoop, which by the way, they obviously had to ship the car back to McLaren. So you gotta put that on to the price of that. So that's 40,000 just for the install. How much more you think they paid for the shipping? Oh my God. It's a 650S. Yes. One more time. Even the LT took a shitting price. This yeah. is a 650S. This guy's a bowler. Can you take that roof scoop and put it on another 650? I don't know, but God, the paint color is so beautiful even compared to the other one. You guys see it, right? I used to think that was this color, but when you put them together, Jesus. You can kind of see why these cost like 40 grand. Look, look at the... I mean, no, dude, the engineering it's, is it's, beautifully it's, it's done. It's factory. Like it's, I mean, it, I know it's factory, but it's like... It's and do you remember how they sound, right? When you drive it? And also, look, the carbon fiber and... No. And like, that's fucking... It's incredible. Either way, there's a purple car right there, so let me just do a plug for my watch. Hey, Alejandro. Yep. Is it Tamarindo time yet? Uh, almost there, Fargini. And by the way, this is a great plug. That's the same purple for the watch. It's crazy. Come on, how often do you get to see shit like this? Yes, I need a purple car. Bad, like exactly like that. Can they put this up there to let you know things are going to be very expensive? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I want you guys to pay attention. P1, all carbon fiber. There's a Centenario right here. These don't matter as much as this. Oh my God. Far shot, far shot, okay. far shot, far shot, far shot. Hang on. I, I, I know, I know. Hang on. I know. It's what? Dope. It's dope. You know what? It's you know what? It's, it's, spectacular. it's spectacular. Are you listening to this, buddy? No, 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 it's hey, they Pietro, no one changes his mind more than Farsha. They don't photograph well. They don't photograph well. Do you agree? I agree. They do not. You have to see this in person. Wow. Oh. You can actually, with your eyes, Dude. See the form and function. Go, go look at the wing. Just go look I, at the No, no, no. The, the side that you can see through it. That's so cool. You can see through the seat hey, to the interior. You know what the worst part of this is? Well, you gotta stop when I want to. Look at the wing! Look at the engineering! It's five kilos, which is about 10 pounds, if you will. It's 10 kilos the door. 10 kilos just the door? 600 grams the fender. 600 grams fenders. Hey, the future is amazing, right? Huh, the future is light. <laughs> <laughs> the future is light. I like that. Hey, Fargini, the future is light. Hey, it is unbelievable. You know, you have 800 pounds of downforce at over 120 miles per hour. 800 horsepower. 2,800 pounds roughly running the whole car. That's it, I mean. And this is a first of a kind. There's nothing like yeah. this. There's nothing to drive on the track where you feel the downforce. The braking, nobody has got to that point because it really- It's so powerful, it, yeah. It, That's what I keep hearing, the, that you gotta brake like- late, 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 So late. And you wouldn't believe that it stops. Oh, it's so gorgeous. <laughs> Look.
look at those seats. Send a signature. How much is that option? Or it comes with every single car? Well, you had no, 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 no. It doesn't come with every car. Oh! <laughs> you have to make a donation to the Ayrton Senna Foundation. In order for you to get this signature. Ah. Farsa, do you, can you memorize how to do this? Uh, hold on. <laughs> why don't I, wait. Um, why don't I just take a picture? Ah. <laughs> The amount of gloss carbon in this car, and I'm sorry, audio is gonna go to shit. Look at this. So, this is if you were driving what it looks like. The seats are so beautiful, everything, everything is so beautiful. I've never seen that line before. So you see that's catching air. So basically every line in this car has a yeah. specific purpose. Yeah, that's what's incredible about it. <laughs> and I love how they even got the parking sensor the right there. Sensor. And, and then you have these flaps inside and moves. Yeah, they open and close. With the rear wing. And then I mean, just look at the amount of air catching that there is in this car. One feature I need to see right now, please. <laughs> I heard there's a way to hydrate yourself in the car. Please, can we see that? This one has it? Yes, that's the bottle. Are you serious? Oh! Here you have the tubes that you put in your helmet. Uh -huh. And here you have the bottle. There's a bottle right there. So there is a bottle that you uh -huh. fill up. Then you put it all the way in. It clicks, and then you have a button. One thing you gotta love about McLaren engineering. I mean, just look at the beast. Everything here is an exercise for aero. Obviously lightweight as fuck and as you can imagine, but everything is just about trapping air. This is why the car looks kind of weird to some, and some of you are gonna say, oh, it looks hideous, I don't like it. In person, it looks dope. The thing is, when something has too many lines, it's too much for our brain to capture depth in the right way, so it looks just overwhelmingly ugly. It's not ugly, it's just overwhelmingly ugly on paper. That's it. Look at the air. Again, everything is just an air exercise. Everything is coming in here. Even inside of there, there's two flaps that open and close. And even if that's not enough, right here on the side to send to the door, you have more scoops that just generate more downforce and get the air into the door scoop and also there. So everything, this is, this is by the way, the trunk. So all it needs is just a little piece on top of it so you can't see it. And then everything goes into these. I mean, look at these doors. What a beautiful aero exercise. And then right here, the see-through glass at the bottom and on top. Did you say the scene through glass? The see through glass. <laughs> Shout out to Sam. <laughs> and then you got the signature for Mr. Senna. And uh, in order to get that, you can get either Farsha to duplicate it or donate some money to Senna's foundation. Exactly. Oof, everything is glossy carbon in this one specifically. One thing I love about these cars is no matter how modern we get and no matter how crazy on lightweight obsession we get, there's a fucking screen right there and there's another one right here. So there's no more excuses for cars not to be at their best and McLaren and he's fucking on it, on it. The other thing is just the seats. It's literally a carbon fiber, and just so you all know, in between this, it's hollow. There's nothing in between. These are just hollow seats with foam attached to it so that you don't break your back. And I guarantee you, even then, it's gonna be more comfortable than uh, Performante. Ooh, okay, the fucking seats are legitimately rocks. There, yeah, there's no giving this. If anyone gets him one of these too hard, he's gonna break their asshole. Or my performante. And then another sweet detail that they have, all of the start buttons up there, the locks for the doors, the AC, and some other stuff. I think your windows too are right there. Yep, they are right there. And then right here, the tree to move the car. Pietro's not here, I'm gonna move it. You guys see that? It moves with the car. Just this, drive, neutral, and reverse. They move with right, the car. They copy your Lincoln on that. We're gonna have to, have to talk with them. They copied my Lincoln? Yeah, the DNR buttons. <laughs> Oh, Fargini. And then you have the water system, which is insane. I mean, they've thought about everything. On a serious note, I would love to see what Senna would have thought of this. Like, oh, like can this you imagine? Time. Like, what Honestly. he would have... He probably would have been like, eh, it's too fast for me. <laughs> <laughs> can, I share, can I share my thoughts on it real yeah. quick? I've been walking around this 
videoing it and what amazes me is every single piece that you get to there's something unique and interesting and different that you haven't seen on any on other any other car that you can tell is functional yeah you can tell that every single piece that's here is made to operate at the best and fastest around a track and that's incredible that's incredible to me dude just look at this hole right here think about it guys look just up here. here you're going up here normally every car finishes with a smooth one of these or whatever nah fuck that these guys have holes in the car that makes it go up. This is bananas. This is everything I've ever wanted, and then some. You know what, I'm so glad I was able to not get one of these. <laughs> something guys that was honestly like a dream come true i do love that senate however shape or form that you want and then here depreciation the performance spider just hitting me right in the face as i get out of here all right let's go get some what far shot Tamarindo! We're here at Tamarindo time, people. We're having Tamarindo tastings. So Alonso came out and he already told us he made yogurt, ice cream, water, mm. and he made salsas. With, with, tamarindo. with tamarindo. And then from this, you're gonna pick what you wanna go with so we can put it at the taco shop. Why pick? They're all going into the taco shop. Here's the first victims, people. This is salsas. So tamarindo with chili de arbol with roasted peanut. That's a salsa. Alonso said this would be better if fresh, a fresh salsa. You wanna bottle something up for Guinea? We're gonna move on to this one. This is the tamarindo mango and habanero sauce. That's the one that you I'm might want to bottle. I'm fucking salivating right now. Have you had habanero? No. Mm. He's already sweating. Venga, Alonso. A lot of people that make this, uh -huh. they leave some of the full. I, I, I mash it through like a fine mesh to get like all the. You just get the water, just, water, just water. water. Just, it has some pulp in it, but uh -huh. it's diluted, obviously. My man. And it's a tamarindo, water, sugar. Can't, That's it? You can't know, go wrong. I've never had tamarindo. Tamarindo, water, and sugar. Sure that? I've never Try had it. Tamarindo. Wow. Really? Look at his face. Look at his face. Holy shit. I want to take Holy this shit, dude. No, I'm not it was a really important call, but I, hold on. Oh, wow. This is really good. This is amazing. Thank you. Okay, Alonso just came over, brought us the tacos. We're ready. We're going to try one on each. So don't forget which one's which, buddy. And uh, Fargini, we're just waiting on his tacos. He's the one that wanted everything, and he's just standing out there. What a dick. First of all, can we carbonate this? Yeah, absolutely, you can. There are even machines that do it. Try Fargini, so put okay. one sauce on each and remember okay. which one's which. Wow, that's delicious. Extremely hot. I was gonna say. Yes. <laughs> oh wow, that I'm was burning instant. Up. I'm burning up. That was instant. <laughs> How is that possible? I'm burning up my whole body, burning up. <laughs> and this is habanero? Is no. I it is even, is even hotter? It's, oh, you don't even have enough on there. Yeah, I did that on purpose. Oh, man. <laughs> Burning up. It's like an afterburner. <laughs> this one? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. You don't need to do anything else for this one. Can we make a slightly milder version, please? Yeah. No. No, 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 no. Mmm. Yogurt de tamarindo. That's the tamarindo yogurt, Fargini. Yeah. Hey, and no one's got this, right? No one's got tamarindo yogurt. You've never tried, tried, tried it before? No. Uh, this two? is for me. Para two? Thank you. Si, si, senor. Why is this so good? I've never tasted anything like this. So this is like a paleta. That's what, oh. what we call it. This is good. Very good. Fuck out of here. 
This is it. This is the one. When in the French vanilla ice cream, I wanted to introduce the tamarindo in a different way. I didn't want to just put it in there, so I made a tamarindo caramel and I crumbled up some vanilla cookies. Okay. Oh, I need okay. one. Oh, I need, I need. <laughs> Yo tengo dos spoons, please. Ooh. Here we go, are ready? You're an ice cream guy. I'm an ice cream guy. So this is exactly what I imagined. What the fuck did you do? What is this? It's incredible. Hey, I'll buy the skew. Let's just get it in a cart and get it on the shelves ASAP. It's like a mixture of dulce de leche, caramelo, tamarindo, and vanilla. There's a different flavor every time you take that's, a scoop. That's, it's not a very strong, yeah. but you definitely feel the trace of tamarindo. Wow. If I'm buying a second hand, which I will, yes. of these, yes. is it a must to get the thermos thing? Let me ask you a question. If it's not part of it, it's a $6,000 option. Are you gonna spring for the $6,000 so I can drink mezcal while we're driving? Well, why can't we just get a camel pack and put it in there for $12.99 from Target? 